Hello, I'm Johnny and welcome back to my kitchen. So today I'm going to do some watercolour painting. I will be using these paints that I got from Sketching Story and the, the Viva um, paints on the cork board. I've got my spritzer and my dropper. Uh, mixing powers and me water and paint brushes <sighs> look keep on getting bits on here so this is ballerina for scroll tober it's uh number two i'm very behind but i'm not going to stress about it um i'll only be showing a few of the videos and me coloring in and i'll just put the pictures on instagram because i'm not going to Stress myself out like I did last year. So, um, when I thought of ballerina, this popped into my head. Um, I think I like it better in the sketch form. So, what I did was trace it onto tracing paper and then transferred it onto the watercolour paper. So I will get cracking now. I'll just spritz these watercolours. And then we'll get cracking. Shall I go wet on dry? Better take my glasses off. I'm going to try and stay into the lines, but if I don't, it doesn't matter, does it? And then I'm going to go over the whole thing in liner. I'm trying to add a bit of texture. I haven't um, sketched for a while and my techniques not very good <laughs> but I do like this ballerina say to be good at something you must practice 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 but I've been doing my sculpting and my sewing so I haven't had a lot of time to sketch but you can be good in everything can you Yes, I'm still in frame. Just trying to put some of the colour onto the palette and then I can put me dropper of water on it because these dry very quick. I won't be speeding the video up, not that I've learned how to do that yet, but um, there's not much point, it's not going to take that long. I've only done about um, six sketches and no detail added yet. I'm um, intending to do Inktober as well. But I just love um, Scrawltober because you can use watercolours. 
where ink tarber it's just ink and I'm a bit fearful of ink because once you put it down it's there forever whereas if I make a mistake with the watercolours at least I can lift it up with a magic sponge or just a piece of kitchen towel Right, I was going to do this part yellow, <clears throat> but with this being such a light green, I uh, don't think it will complement. So, maybe I should go with an orange. Yeah, I think an orange would be quite fun. And Ziggy's laid peacefully to the right of me. He was very mischievous earlier on. So he's all settled down and he's gone to sleep. Right, what I was planning to do with this is just paint this part and this part and leave everything white. But I'm not quite sure now. Um, I didn't really want to use pink. Oh, well, there's this uh, quite nice colour here. I don't know what it's called. Might use that for the body. I think I'll use this um, smaller paintbrush. Sorry, just mixing the colour. Yeah, I quite like that. It's very subtle.
Mm, skinny arms. I think I may as well add some uh, colours on the body part as well. No point leaving it white. No, no. I'm so impatient. I haven't let the um, this bit dry and it's bled in. <laughs> but never mind. Maybe I could lift that. If I wet it again, and then maybe I could lift the pigment. Yeah. And I've also lifted pigment there, but I can go over there again. See, this is what I mean about watercolours. You can just lift it up your mistakes. But with inks, it's there forever. So I'm going to let this dry. And then get the liner out. Well, that's it complete. Um, I wish I'd never added the liner to it. I quite like just the pencil. But um, looks alright. I can always do it again if I'm not fully satisfied with it. Um, yes, so I'll get on to the next ones. So this one's Hermit, Hermit Crab. I was going to do um, a mountain range with a house right at the top with a tiny little hermit in it, a man, a lonely man. <laughs> uh, but I thought that was boring, I changed my mind, I thought I'd do a Hermit Crab. And hermit crabs are notorious for just climbing into anything that suits them. Um, so this is Pollution. It's a shampoo top, bottle top. And it's crawled into that and it's its perfect home. I mean, shells look much more prettier than plastic laid at the bottom of the ocean. So that's what I've done for this prompt. Oh, I forgot to show this first. That's the sketch I done and I used Vivivia, Viviva to paint it. Well, this is supposed to be Venus. I think it needs a lot of reworking because she's got bingo wings and I don't know what's happening with her elbow and she's got one arm longer than the other. <laughs> back to the scratch board. The scratch board. Well, back to wherever. So this is Scroll Toba number three Venus. Sorry about the shadow, I've had to put my light on, it's getting dark now. So I decided uh, instead of giving her a human head, I'd give her the planet Venus. Um, and I give her some flippers as well, just in case she falls into the water. Not that I've painted it, but you get the gist. Um, she's got bingo wings. One arm's longer than the other. 
but she is high hiding a undercarriage or a gusset or mini, moo moo, foo foo, whatever you might call it. So I enjoy doing that. So I will get on to the next ones. Johnny signing out. See you bye.